Monsters. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got our, our monster killers, Kingwin. Uh, we just talked to... Uh, who did we just talk to? God, Larson. 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 We talked to Larson for a couple of times. 44 kills. 44 kills. I mean, yeah. they were sitting kind of middle of the table going in today, and now all of a sudden they're just popping off like like absolute madmen. Yeah. Do we think that that's going to hold up? Yeah, I think we do. Uh, yeah. this, here's the thing with the uh, Kingwin. Part of what makes them great is the fact that Larson, as in IGL, is also able to, to get kills. Like that one clutch, 1v4 with Entis Ace by himself, and then we saw him on the kill feed again and again and again. Ghost Gaming got absolutely wrecked by him. Uh, other teams got wrecked by him as well. He's a man that knows how to keep a cool mind and at the same time really work out his angles, really work out his frags. So he's yeah. a beautiful fragger at that. And I mean, they got Gax, you know, they got Miracle, they got Vard. It's not going to be that hard to get that many kills as well. That's true. In just a couple of more games. Well, maybe not a couple, but yeah. Well, Cami, we're going into game three so far today. We've seen two very far northern circles, and yeah. they've been benefiting. Uh, I mean, uh, everybody. Uh, look, uh, look at our scoreboard. We're, we're top five, yeah. four EU. Uh, and and uh, I mean, uh, I guess four and a half. You, yeah, you I know uh, Avengers <laughs> over there just like, <laughs> that's <laughs> right. <laughs> but, uh, it, My know. two Damies boys. <laughs> also, also in the top also five. Yeah. So do you, I mean, what if, what about these? Do you think these northern circles are just favoring these EU teams, or is it is it yeah, just they're biased circles? They're biased circles. <laughs> yeah, biased, thanks yeah. a lot, Blue. I mean, well, I'm, I'm, I'm so setting <laughs> you up here to say some. Something. I mean, we we can see on it's it's not setting up for Groovy because Groovy is coming out yeah, from Mars right. and or it's absolutely punishing for them. Yeah. Or anyone yeah, over true. here. Well, Phase. Free, yeah, I mean, well, Phase is doing okay. Phase. Did the fr a, a, first right. a first place and a second place, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty, pretty but strong. I, that's what we usually see from face. I mean, yeah. Yeah. they don't care because they're going to come late to the second circle anyway. You yeah. know so what, You know why is that? Because no one is actually taking Stalber, no one's taking Kamoshki. Mm. Mm. Yasnaya is usually, if someone is dropping Yasnaya, they don't have the vision mm. east side. Yeah. So when you just rotate here on the east side, you just have free entrance to, these yeah. to the circus on the north. That yeah. being said, it's like... It's still very action-packed around here because there's so many teams still around in this corner. It's mostly the fact that they just come in so late that they can avoid mm. a lot of that action. Most of the teams that come in here, they rotate in earlier. Both Phase and Vitality just like delay, not necessarily just at this competition because of the teams that we yeah, have and those drop points. More. Just yeah. in general, both of them consistently do that because they have to travel so far yep. no matter who they're up against in a circle up here. Yeah. Yeah. May I ask a noob question? Yeah. It, it may not be a mystery that oh I have no God. idea what's happening. Here we go. <laughs> Me about Stalber. Do those pro teams love? I love Stalber. No. Why do you love Stalber? It's loves up on the hill. It's a safe <laughs> position. There's yep. a lot. They got an observatory. They got an ancient ruin. It's freaking Jeez, sweet. Dude. This guy goes in for the sights. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a nice. It's, it is a nice tourist attraction. It's a beautiful it's a nice place. place. And if the plane comes in, the box drops in like two seconds. That's got to be a competitive uh, advantage. <laughs> it's got to be esports. I've, thing I've never seen a, uh, a drop on Stalber actually. But what we nope. saw, what we saw in OGN from Face, they actually did the Stalber Kameski split. Oh. We also see it from uh, sometimes from Crimson and Finstack in the EU teams. And when, when Crimson and Finstack are some of the teams dropping Stalper Kameski, we see FaZe having a really hard time because those teams oh. usually take the, this area. Mm -hmm. But this is completely free for FaZe now. Yeah. So hmm. yeah. come exactly. you what, what, you what those will point out, they, have a f they come in late and they have no problem because there's no yeah. people here. They left already. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But they're still, they're sp still, um, still open. They're still, yeah. They're still uh, open on that side. They yeah, want to play. They rotate, they're yeah. not. They're not contested in the area they want to play. Yeah, that, yeah. That's partly what makes uh, phases rotations that much uh, e not easier, but I suppose that much more successful is the fact that usually the pathing that they take is a pathing that is not occupied by any other teams in any kind of circles. It's their smart ways. They're you know they do their homework. They look at the teams. They look at where those teams like to like to drop and how fast they go into the circles or where those circles are. Yep. That's the tip of the iceberg when we see FaZe Atlanta. These guys that we're watching on the screens right now, this is the tip of the iceberg when you see them actually pull those rotations. They do a lot of homework. Well, we've got about 30 seconds before we're heading into Ooh. game. We've got a oh. very ah. Look, we've got a log jam uh, at first through fifth with points. Yep. Uh, a log jam Absolutely. at sixth through tenth. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to see if any of these teams manage to just kind of take a death grip on this for the rest of the day and maybe if any of these teams in the six through ten can move their way up into the top five but guys this is going to be game three we bring you your caxters mr boogie your caxters your caxters all right let's do this ladies and gentlemen welcome straight back into a pgl spring invitational ready to spring at you with them um, some hot hot spicy action yes i said it it's been said, it's been done. Let's have a look at the plane here, Kami. It's a pretty decent one. It's going to allow most of the teams, maybe perhaps with the exception of the very Western looting ones, to uh, drop in easily. I think Kingwin is going to be a bit hindered here. But then again, Kingwin were 
utterly hindered oh. yeah. last match, and look what they did. Yeah. Well, the only problem is the fact that if there is also a circle on the opposite side from Georgia Pool around Milton and everything, which not only does that mean all those teams down there are automatically have priority, mm -hmm. you Kingwin, if they have to take a long drop over to Georgia Pool and then a long ride back, and then if they continue to have a little bit of, like, they haven't been free looting. There's been um, oh, pressure no. from a couple multiple teams around that yeah. area, not intense pressure. They haven't been like fully contested, but there's still been enough for them to you know keep their head on a swivel, and so that's going to slow down their loot slightly. Then if they come all the way back, but again, we're going to have to see where the first circle is before we see before we make a decision just how in a difficult situation King are going to be in. Check out uh, Break taking uh, the closest Delver, kind of ish. He might be going towards the Kameshki uh, yeah. South uh, Trash. Uh, she, maybe he heard Slacks, man. Maybe he was like, yeah, you know what? Let's give this guy a bit <laughs> of a break. He knows nothing about PUBG. Let's help him out a little bit here. I'll go to Kameshki. See if uh, see if that pounds out nicely. Well, yeah, there you go. Teams are splitting them nicely here. It mm -hmm. seems like a very good playing trajectory. We said that indeed. But still, there's going to be some closeness one to another there. Smitty's taking some shots here. I'm not too sure where he was taking shots because it doesn't necessarily look like there's yeah. anybody else from Team Secret going into, or sorry, anybody else outside of Team Secret mm. in the farm area. Fees yeah. going back to Gorilla Core days. Would you look at that? Novo Repnoy, which is something that they used to do. They're very used to that town as well, but it's been a long time since we see them go there. Yeah, that's usually been their plan B. But I mean, they're not. They haven't been forced oh. out of Milt to power by LGD or anyone, E United, anyone in this event so far. They've actually really tightened up their control of their area of the map. But they also noticed that Novo was empty, and so why not go there? Even though we're Novo not getting forced out, we're getting empty. What? Is empty? Because of empty. Uh, what? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so but they really, they, they're still avoiding all the pressure of E United, LGD, TSM, Milta, Secret, uh, all basically surrounding them um, if they go Nova. Obviously, there's the trade off because you do have the bridges to work with. Um, and going into this circle that we just saw recently, that's on the eastern side of the map, is not going to be too easy because they got the drive through Secret and Vitality if they go over that bridge. But I do expect them to do the kind of mirror route of what they usually do from P Power to Sosnovka, which is take those boats and swing around to the east coast. Mm hmm. Yeah, I definitely agree with that one there. You see how Sadie and Yemti doing their little split there. In the meantime, TSM talking about splits. Here's a team that uh, split a lot, but last game they did pretty, pretty good. Now, of course they had a, a, an easier entrance into the circle, of course. Yeah, sure. Uh, but the way they played it was was pretty smart as well. They didn't take the gas station all the way north side on mm -hmm. that previous circle. They didn't go onto the routing where uh, Vitality went and TM went and OMG went. They were a bit smart. They went into the middle of that, and they had themselves a good compound to defend for a long time. They kept teams out. Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking to see that again, man. I'm looking to see them grouped up and, you know, play as one unit because they are a powerful team. They just need to – Just need to. I feel like they need to keep together for that to happen, you know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We know that those players can all frag out, and so it's just it's really like the teamwork and team synergy that's been the biggest problem with them so far. Fiend right now continuing to put pressure on Vitality as is something that we've seen many times before. Trying to spot out Shadow, not going to make that information play, and instead just going to run back, not committing too heavily to it. They're both, they, I don't know, the Secret and Vitality are both relatively safe right now. They're obviously yeah. on the south edge of the circle. The question is if they want to move to a place that allows for perhaps better rotation, mm -hmm. um, like slightly further north, but it also means that they could end up meeting each other if they both do that. And so it's a decision both have to make. Yeah. Well I mean, they continue to shoot at each other still. Oh, they will, yeah. They're just taking pot shots there. But it feels like throughout these days, they've learned how to work with one another. Yeah. When we saw, we were seeing scrims before the match had started, and it was just an absolute mess. Vitality was not necessarily the ones that were pushing, but Secret would always push in to Vitality play, uh, to Vitality land, trying to dink them down, trying to get them killed. But somehow, in the meantime, they learned how to work with one another, and it seems so far that they're doing pretty good at it. Now, have a look at the early rotation from Viz, plus one in that vehicle there. It looks like they're already setting up to find themselves a decent spot. And uh, there's something to be said about this split and go kind of action. If you do it fast enough, then it's absolutely warranted. It's absolutely beautiful, because as you can see here, um, the they are all going to have decent ish loot from not mm -hmm. necessarily the best of compounds. But because they're split up, they'll be able to get some good stuff fast, and then group up together, Going straight smack dag in the middle of the center circle. Yeah. And just kind of wait there for the next one to appear. In the meantime, we see Team Snake, a team who has been performing nicely in the previous match. Uh, we're kind of hoping to see uh, how they're going to do this time around, though, here, because Snake is um, not consistent, but you can see their potential. Yeah, absolutely. And they, they are an incredibly aggressive team, which has kind of been one of the things that's really kind of bit them in the foot because they've bitten off more than they can chew. 
Um, hopefully they can learn to kind of temper that and to kind of, you know, smooth that out and so it's a more consistent showing from them. Still in the process of looting right now. It actually seems that they didn't get enough loot in the more, like, trash area around it and instead going into Georgia Bullet. So it's possible that they could block Kingwin. Mm -hmm. This is what we were talking about earlier about Kingwin. This is one of those circles that could put them in a tricky situation. They got – Kingwin did get to South Georgia Pool with without much happening, so yeah. it should be all right. Um, Papaya just – Jumped off of something. Ooh, I'm let's assuming find a, that was a bike. Let us find the culprit in this instance. I'm pretty sure if we look around there, we'll be able to spot a biku. I spy Perhaps a uh, he will get a res though. All right, we're tur slowly yeah. turning around. Okay, producer is like, I don't necessarily want to show you everything. Mm. I can't see it though. Well, yeah. What happened here? I don't know. Huh? You know who's good at this? Ansvar. He's always like, Yep, I'm gonna find the bike. Whatever, no matter what it takes. <laughs> He's always gonna find this kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. But MPX, MPX did fine. find Babaya. So that's yeah. the important part here. They didn't lose one another. And uh, as you can see at the top right corner, their teams are pretty much split nicely. So that's 16 teams and 64 alive. It's mm -hmm. pretty much the way it should be going at this level. And it's pretty much the way it kind of has been going today as well. So I kind of like that, that we're going to see, get ready for an explosion later on, especially on this circle here. We're going to see a very nice closing game. Uh, that's what that one's gonna be good. I'm, I'm, I'm I can't contain myself for it. Yeah, it's very interesting just looking at the pacing of these games. It, each event, because it's a complete different mix of teams, in a way, kind of establishes its own meta. And even though we have such significant kill points in this event, it's st we were talking earlier at the very beginning of the first day how we we you know s uh, expect that to mean that it's more aggression out of these teams, mm -hmm. but instead it's actually been less. Um, a couple of reasons for that that I've been mulling over possible reasons is that, um, well, the biggest one is that you want to have everyone alive at the very end where you're most likely to get those final kills where you're close, you can finish everyone off. Early game, it's a little less reliable to get those kills, and so it actually makes sense that you want to kind of wait until the very end to come out and grab all of those points. Yeah, it makes a big difference. It makes a big difference. Indeed, we were uh, talking about this, I think, a few weeks ago when we were casting together, and uh, there was some stats shown out. And uh, Stain as four or the fifth or seventh circle is instrumental to a team yeah. actually getting a chicken dinner. It makes a huge difference if the entirety of the team can actually make it that far into the game. It does help out a lot. So this, uh, well, statistically Ooh. speaking, there are some teams that can change Groovy. that one. In the meantime, though, SSG found themselves two frags there. Grubby are going to have a hard time there. We'll have a look at them later on. In the meantime, we see a Mark 14 instead of water there. I'm not too sure if anybody's going to be going for that one or not. But yeah, looks like Pyjama you know, has been killed and Shade has been mm -hmm. destroyed as well. Uh... That's a hard rotation for Grubby, who seems to have been caught off guard by SSG as they were trying to get into the circle. Yeah, it's interesting where SSG are right now. It's possible that they're actually lying in wait for Grubby to come in because... They know they're a Primo team, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. They, they know they're the perfect time to kind of, well, camp that. Mm -hmm. It's not exactly a bridge, but they were able to spot out the rotations from previous games. Yeah. It's a pretty... Um, default rotation into the circle from Primor, so very good call by Station Gaming to wait there, lie and wait, and grab those two early kills, and this puts Groovy in a very, very hard situation. They yeah. ended day one in first place, but down to third, and now they're already down to two, and halfway through the day, this is... It's going to be a yeah, little difficult for them. Now. Shiv! Oh, that oh being, being some shots being taken on to him, indeed. Papaya's going to be falling down. It looks like Shiv wants to keep on shooting, but it's not going to be too successful. Vitality and Secret finally meeting up. This time around, it's going to be inside the safety of the circle. And, uh, yeah, it looks like Papaya's going to be dinked down early on. It's going to be one loss for Team Secret. Nothing else should technically happen here. It doesn't look like Shiv has any kind of good helmet to try and overpeak this one. If he does do that, he's in a bit of a danger moment. Fiend is on Ooh. the other side. Some long-range shots. They don't connect so far, though, it seems. This guy's super bald. This, this guy this takes a lot of brass to try and shoot like that. But now he will take Fiend down to one-third. And that's, uh, well, a team secret that probably not going to peak as much as they did. Yeah, especially now. It's quite a bit of damage to that helmet as well, and so mm -hmm. Fiend specifically is going to have to lie and wait. Other team members may take a crack at it, but they're already down a member. Um, you're going to go up against some of the best snipers in the game, Vitality. And so you may want to kind of, you know, rethink your decisions at this point. But this yeah. is what I was talking about earlier with if, if both moving up into a better spot in the circle, but then moving into each other and kind of, you know, creating a little bit of traffic. They're not the only ones around here, though. We do have a couple other teams in this area as well. Ghost, United, TSM aren't too far off either. Um, a lot of teams are still in the process of rotating in as well. Got Entis, Snake, Groovy, of course, there on go. their rerouted rotation. 
uh, Kingwin just made their way in and Space Station coming in, but they may run into Ghosts. That's Profi and another teammate in a vehicle ahead of them. They yeah. could stop if they hear their vehicles behind them and take some shots. That's the normal rotation area there. Kingwin yeah. are going to be stopping by uh, close to where they are right now to try and scout out the area to their east. Uh, but as they do, they will indeed be stopped by a lot of teams. It seems EU, TSM are in there as well. So Kingwin are going to be putting a stop to where they are. Uh, they're going to be grouping up first, and that's kind of an important, kind of a big deal. You have to do that first. Gr Grubby in the meantime, the last one's into the white. Oh, they had a hard time there indeed by SSG earlier on. This time around, they're going to be sticking uh, to one another. they got two vehicles at least. I guess that's the silver lining to their yeah. disadvantage. The fact that there's two vehicles so that there at least there is the chance for one of them to stay alive. We'll see if that happens or not. In the meantime, we're looking at Tainted Mines. Very good team so far, it seems, who have been... Decently enough consistent, mm -hmm. and they're a team that we haven't necessarily spoke much about, Cami. These guys coming all the way from Australia, fighting with the jet lag, fighting with whatever, you yeah. know, other impediments you might consider. But they're a team of friends. I was talking to them earlier. They're all a bunch of lads, you know, just grouping together, just kind of being best friends. And that's yeah. partly what makes a, a team strong in PUBG, because mental fortitude in this game is very, very important. Absolutely. It was just... We had Benchu on the desk earlier, I believe. He's and a specimen. Absolutely. Even all of them just talking to them. They're such a fun group of people. Yeah. Um, it's, <laughs> it's always enjoyable. If you ever get a chance to talk to these guys, definitely do it because they are a riot. Um, and that compound that they took as well is actually one of my favorites too. Um, playing the ridge up that we saw one of them jumping around earlier. And it's actually very Ooh. strong right now in this circle. This is such a swing over towards the, the Yosnaya Fields is the dead center. This is going to force a lot of teams out. And actually, Kingwin and EU United as well as TSM are in really good spots to catch them out. In fact, we already have Kingwin taking shots at Snake, take bombing straight in through. And Snake, they may go right into Tainted Mines. Yes, indeed. Larson is going to be on the move, of course. Vard is going to be following suit. I was talking, actually, Larson was telling me I was uh, disappointed on the last game on how slow my teammates were on the rotation. I want them to be faster. I want them to, when I get into the car and I tell them to get into the car, they should do that. But it does look like they're going to be following uh, their leader. In the meantime, Pang did get a frag for himself. OMG are trying to rotate now, but oh, Secret won't necessarily have a chance to dink them too hard, it seems. As uh, OMG is already on the top side there, there might be a bit of a battle going on later on between Secret and OMG. But... We're looking at Vitality at the very, very south. They're rotating far away from that battle. In the meantime, SST very close to MVP. And this is not a compound that they can necessarily leave from here. SST and MVP are going to have to go at it. Yeah, this is a very, very tricky compound in SST pushing up. The thing is, they have to worry about getting spotted and getting third party by another team. Round, so they need to go oh! fast. Siege! Absolutely demolished by Gabbath. Gabbath is going to be holding onto his spot there. Peeking on the left side there. It's going to be open. But that again, guy is a bit low there. And Payne do something about this. Gabba did spot him. So he's going to be going for a bit more of a defensive approach. In the meantime, it leaves the Otan a chance to flank in from the left side there. A name comes in. Gabba's going to have to avoid that one there. He's going to be hearing it. Moving in a bit slower there. That's he, he sees that name. He's going to have to get out of there. And he does indeed. Now, as Otan takes more damage, it looks like it's up to Payne to try and pull something off. You're crazy, Sam. And Mollus already helping out Gabba. It's a hard one for MVP, but at least they're getting the resin. Yeah, it's definitely going to help. And Pang being here in the middle of the field is a dangerous spot for him. But it is going to be crucial into defending themselves against Sun Sister, holding that side angle, swinging around, just making sure they don't get third party by anyone else. But Sun Sister able to make it inside, and they were able to split this little compound with MVP. So the real question is on if they're going to push each other or if they're just going to stay hanging out for now and not and wait until they're otherwise forced to. I don't think it's going to be hanging out. This is not necessarily the compound that you can afford to have neighbors in. It's a bit, a, bit, a bit open as you have to leave. Yeah. You're going to have to go for the battle, so better in than out. Let's see if they're going to finish it off here. Pain still. Ooh, Being push. careful. Otan coming in close. It seems like Gabba's putting some good shots, but he's receiving some of them as well. He's going to be going for the knee, but oh, as no! he does that one, there's going to be people rushing him as well with the F12K. Otan getting the frag on him. He's going to have to be careful. Let me time SST gets a frag onto Siege. They can reply really good now. Crazy Sam gets pinged down. O-Town now is going to be holding on to Easy Peasy Man as well. Easy Peasy Man, I can't see him in the battle here. It looks like Crazy Sam has got the chance. One HP. He takes one down, but that's about it. MVP come out on top, and they will stay as four if nobody else comes on. Oh, that was so close. Crazy Sam 
if he just got that flick turnaround kill, he would have actually wiped them all by himself. But MVP, they do stay all four alive as long as they res those players up. And they have these yellows all to themselves. You can see on the minimap that it's actually quite clear around them. Naturally, just looking at where the circle came from, most of the teams are going to be in the south side, which makes those yellows, well, not stronger, but there's no one there to really punish the, the major weaknesses of this area. So MVP aren't in a bad spot. But looking elsewhere around the map, you still have Tainted Minds in that same compound. TSM, though, just to the east of them. And so they could punish them. We also have Ghost, Kingwin, Entis all around this center area south of those Yasnaya fields. The real worry is if this next circle, which is closing uh -oh. in right now, swings north uh -oh. still. That's going to be quite brutal. Uh oh Look at him preparing. Look at him ah! ready to take the shot, and he connects it as well. His teammate Smurf is going to be holding on to that. M4 and foreign getting the frag as well. Monkey is no longer into the game. All in the span of a second, these guys are <laughs> freaking machines. The way they were prepared to get that frag, they knew their enemy from Vitality is going to be going into the vehicle there. That was pretty, pretty nice. Ah, you, you saw it happen before he came in. You knew he's going to peek it onto that UAZ. That was pretty beautiful. Yeah. Thankfully for Vitality, or is able to grab that vehicle for himself, able to make their way out and find a different compound. That compound that they're in, though, is kind of a last resort for them, which is why it looks like they're not sticking around. OMG mm -hmm. already taking some shots at them, and they're continuing to drive Ooh. up. And there it is! It there is going to continue to swing north immediately onto those Yasnaya fields. This is going to be a race into Yasnaya itself, but everyone's going to be driving through Tainted Mind's Go, actually, Ghost King and Entis are all driving themselves. MVP are leaving that compound as well, but Tainted Minds, they're sticking around and they're taking shots on as many people as possible. Yeah, absolutely. DSM on the rotation as well. Let's see if this one hurts them or not. It looks like they've already split. There's two guys. There he goes. The other two guys are going to have to stop there. Break has to heal himself, but Ghost King, you got to put a stop onto their UAZ. Taking shots at TSM. Not a lot of them connect so far, but that Dacia is a bit dinged down worse for wear. Less than half HP on it. Meantime, Entis is, took advantage of this whole charade and, uh, well, they rotated themselves into Yasnaya. Where, where are they going to have Kingwin as the closest team? Well, MVP are going to be quite far away from the teams here. Tainted Minds now, taking shots at Team Secret. Who had a bit of a rough start there with Vitality, but then again, Vitality have a rough start now as well, losing a member early on to the game. And I want to just point this out, there's a lot of action happening early game. More than we normally see in uh, competitive PUBG. Definitely because of these circles, that's just because the direction it's forcing all these teams to come in from the same direction into the next circle. Both two circles in a row, and so it's forcing a lot of people together. In fact, Snake is getting a spray down on Kingwin and, well, no, OMG, rather. But Kingwin's getting taken out by a lot of other people. There's just so many transitions happening at this part, yeah. at this time, because of where the circle has gone. In EU, you normally scout out an area before you push it. Like, Sun Sister were in that safety of the compound of the yellows that they were in, and then, well, OMG doesn't necessarily do that. A lot of the Asian teams don't necessarily scout ahead. They just go in there, and if it sort of happens to be free, then okay, that if it's yeah. not, then it's, well, it's going to be a problem. That's why we're seeing some, some action right here. LGD, in the meantime, has found themselves a frag. It does look like there's just 53 alive and 15 teams. One of them eliminated already. Sun Sister, unfortunately, and OMG as well. well it's actually just Silent B, uh, BT falling down as well. So it's it's not that bad, all things considered. Snake in the meantime holding on to their spot, but OMG could have the back flank on him because Snake are kind of busy right now with TSM. Oh no, they're not. They know that there might be a potential backstab coming in. Look at Lion, waiting for his prey, spotting it and taking the shots as well. That one will connect beautifully. An eight follow suit. If they do dare to go any closer to him, Zhao Zhu is in the danger of dying down. But he is in a safe moment here, it seems. Another nade will come, though. He's got to help. help out his teammate, though, because Zhao Hai is taking a lot of shots from LGD up mm -hmm. to the north, though. Oh, they're pushing him. They're counter-pushing him. Will the Lion be tamed? It doesn't look oh. like it so far, but Zhao Zhu manages to take Lion down finally there. Vegas in the meantime to one other guy from Snake. But things are getting harder for these guys. They're getting peaked in left and right, but what they don't know is that there's another guy from OMG. That guy could potentially be very damaging here. Xiao Zhu still holding on to his spot there. As his enemy is onto the southeast side. Xiao Hai is going to try across. He will be spotted now. The shots don't necessarily come in, though. So we will be safe for a moment. Things are okay as they are. Yeah, temporarily, but Xiao Hai is still got to find his way into the circle. Luckily for him, though, LGD is making a rotation out. But the nice 8x is going to be able to stop that, but... Let me spot that, but Zhao Zhu there spots him in return. Only a 2x, though. I don't think Snake have that many good scopes. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a like detriment, it. especially being on the edge. Finding that information and taking those long shots to allow them access into the next circle could be a little difficult. You could say that, you know, you could say that um, the new 2x is a bit more. It is better, but, at, but it's not the same as the 4x. Look at all this space on the side. It's really good. I oh, love yeah. I love the 2x. Actually, I loved it before, and now that it's become better. It's I hated it, but now I actually really, really like it. it. No, the circle will be strangling right about soonish. 
We'll see if Lion has a chance at a rest. Actually, nah. he's not going to have a chance at a rest at all. Zhao Hai is definitely too far. And all that matters now is Zhao Hai is in the circle himself. Doesn't seem to be the case. There he goes. Oh, he's barely outside. He will be making his way slowly in there, just proning in there. He would be safe. But he decides to uh, go for a bandage first, and then maybe perhaps move it in. LGD still has an angle on him. Mm, Takes true. shots, and this next circle is staying somewhat center, swinging over to the west, though, and this is actually going to be really bad for LGD. E United and all these teams from the south, Secret, TSM, uh, Tainted Mines, all going to have to come in onto this open field. Yeah. There's not a lot that they can take. There is still a compound on the west side just below um, half of TSM, Smack and Vis separate from the other two teammates. And Secret are already on the way towards their Zhao Hai, though. Two first aids and two Still in the blue. Ooh, yeah, that's always mines. They have an angle onto this, taking some long range shots, nothing quite connecting, and Benchu comes barreling over that hill, <laughs> going into the goes. field by himself. Bold, scouting bold out, man. yeah, finding an initial spot for everyone to stop at. Sucks there an extrude coming oh, in Benji's from behind shots. as well. Bench is taking shots. They're going to have to stop where they are right now. They're going to have to try and make a V with the vehicles and try to protect themselves that way. V is for victory, hopefully. Let's see if they can get it themselves or not. Goes in the meantime, there will be peppering them with his shots from the Harry Potter that they're in. But goes Gaming, this has to be said, that, that this Harry Potter tower that they're in right now I love this is spot. also a danger moment because it's so widely open, you can get easily knocked out by any car. And as you can see, Turtle has a level one helmet. That makes things that much more dangerous for a lot more weapons. Uh, in the meantime, though, there will be a drop close to them. I suppose that's, uh, that's a good thing here. Tainted Mines will try to rotate as soon as they're healed up. But can they do that? Ghost Gaming just won't let down. Yeah, Tainted Mines, they're pinned Ooh. down at this point. Yes. Break just break. ruined his vehicle there. That USC has flipped. He's going to use a discover as Snake will go behind him. It's going to be Break that finds the first strike there as well. It's going to be Rory oh. that helps him out. So Break gets knocked out. Rory's going to have to come big here. DC 66 is still alive here. And there he goes down at the hands of Rory, which should, by all means and purposes, get a res onto his fallen mm. teammate. But Candy, though, because they're in the open. Yeah, and E United, oh, they're they taking the some shots in that direction, so it's going to be quite difficult for them because the blue is coming in right oh, now. It it's going to be a hard moment for these two players. Luckily, they do have other two players of TSM on the opposite side of the circle, and so th the team's going to be in it even if these two don't make it out. And actually, it looks like Roy is leaving break to die out because nothing he can do. Yeah, they had a bit of a hard time rotating into it. It's a bit of an open field indeed as well. TM now will gatekeep the enemies to the southeast if they can. See if TSM Rory can do anything about this, or if TM catch him off guard. Probably gonna happen pretty, pretty soon. Yeah. Rory's gonna have to, yeah, there you go. He's behind a log right now. He's trying to stay alive. In the meantime, EU will find themselves a nice little dip, which is one of the few ones that you have actually south of Yas uh, Yasnaya Poriana. So they have the edge of the circle, but yeah. it's all about the next one, man. Yeah, it's something to play around right now, but more than likely, they're gonna have to rotate even further being on such a harsh edge and so close to Tainted Mines as well. Extrude, they know there's action happening just to the northeast. Well, look Peeking at this. over, but here come some nades. They're so busy with E United that Rory has come in quite close. Well, he's made some progress here at least. He's going to try and get up himself now. He's going to have to prone behind a bush. Because CM is so busy. Oh, there you go. Rory does get knocked out by EU. It seems here. And will be finished off as well. So there's at least one guy from uh, from TSM, it seems. Yeah. Not too sure where it is, but we'll find out later on. In the meantime, Extrude does get a knockout there. And Ooh. Simba bodied in by easy peasy man himself. A need will follow suit, but not connect with Simba here. It seems it was uh, decently enough upstairs. Ooh, that got dangerous. Oh, oh, would you look at that circle? Actually, this and who is still alive? I think it's it's his break. Smack. Smack. Okay, they got a very good piece of the pie here. Secret as well, they got a very good piece of the pie. And Vitality with the only trees in the circle. Yeah. Groovy coming hard. Yeah, but you got Groovy trying to push in their position. They are forcing them off. Um, LGD now, they're in the middle of the action. He has Naya trying to get that res up. And it's going to be a rough rotation for all of them, just trying to move through the urban environment surrounded by all these other teams. And they're going to have to run directly into FaZe, who, because of the long rotation up to the north side, they're the only team to do that. They've been avoiding all contact until now, and this is when they start to come alive. At this point in the game is when they establish themselves. They're not in the next circle right now, though, so that's going to be a little bit of an issue for them. It's really not... It's hard for them to gain control inside an open field like this. Well, you can see them coming in slowly. Tainted Mines now also just trying to On peek out and find informa yeah, information. They got to take care of E United first. Yeah. 
one of these teams needs to win this angle and then also need to win through Ghost and then get in the circle and find a safe. It's it's a bunch of different things, <laughs> bullet points that these teams all have to do. And the blue's coming in right now, so they're kind of forced to run out. Tony V even has to stop the heal, try and run further. This might be the death one. We'll see how it works out. In the meantime, we see MVP LGD, Kingwin as well, quite close to one another. Entis Ace as well. That's a lot of teams that will make their way out of Yasna Apodiata, and FaZe might be there to catch them off guard pretty much the entirety of them. We'll see if that happens in the meantime. Kingwin, happy spot of themselves. It looks like some people will try to put in some shots there, but a lot of them connect. And, uh, well, MVP will be using the smokes as well to cross into the safety of the circle, but the smokes are going to stay up for so long after they're gone. They have to find a good spot in there. Sengjiang, though, in the meantime, spots MVP. will take some shots, but receive some in return as well. This is just very difficult for a lot of these teams here in Yoznaya because they had to worry about fighting out each other, and then the Blues also coming in pretty quickly at this point. And so I I don't know the best way to play this. I avoid cities because of this particular reason. King with another little split up right now. They already got a couple of downs. TJW getting taken out by them. He's a piece of man. Continue to do a lot of work on MVP. Drops out a couple of players for his own, but he does get taken out in return. He's barely left alive in here, it seems. He will get the res. He's going to have to move fast, Ooh. though. A first they get in the move is what they need. Does this happen? Both of them low HP. Some people's got to be coming around that corner. Might be catching them off guard there. Simba and Mungo Nyao, whilst Zhuk goes in towards the other side. In the meantime, Pokemoto has been taken out by Raxi. That's pretty much the end of Grubby. I think it is. <gasps> some people there putting in some real good shots there. Gaxi has been taken out as well as Zhuk from LGD. Ventus Ace really leaving their best flanker behind. Some people realize that he cannot uh, climb out of the window. Well, he could have on the staircase there, but decides to go all the way down, and that might be the end of him. As his teammates, Christus, takes so much damage, it's Young Yang is just as well. This might be the end of Entus Ace, just because they couldn't get early enough into the circle, and now Ghost are killing him as well. Yeah, it Phase 2, like it's a crossfire between two very, two very, very strong teams. Very, oh, yeah. very good aim on both of them. Oh, yeah. It looks like Entus is taken out. Miraku, the only survivor from Kingwin, coming from Yoznaya, but he's still tanking the blue. He's going to have to play the heal game here. Yeah. Not another choice to do anything else. And let's but pull that. up that map and see that circle because what I can see on the mini map right now is that he still has a long distance to run. Yes, he does. It looks like it indeed. Well, he's going to be attempting to run for it there, but in the meantime, it looks like FaZe have taken on quite close of a comp out to TSM. It might be a battle that might start over here. FaZe know that there potentially is somebody in this comp out here, so they're not going to be going in too aggressive too early. In the meantime, Vitality are very happy where they are. Whilst uh, it doesn't look like anybody else is necessarily doing good. Actually, Team Secret are doing pretty good themselves as well. The rest of them are going to have to move in from quite far. Look at Ghost. They have to traverse all that open area. And FaZe are already taking shots at them. Yeah, that's Kingwin falling. Ghost. But Ghost need to move now as well. T this right now, one of the two remaining players of TSM. A little bit of a fight with Secret, but they don't want to focus too heavily on that angle. Because it's actually FaZe just to their north. That's the biggest threat right now. Only two of them, they can only watch so many angles at once. And they need to make yeah. sure that they don't overcommit. The choice for Ghost Gaming right now is who do we go down yeah. by? Is it going to be Secret or TSM and FaZe? They kind of have to choose who their executioner is going to be at this moment in time. Or they can go in the middle and kind of give it a 50-50 shot to everybody. They will rotate. Jimmer is already on the rotate here, it seems, from EU. And I'm actually happy to see them uh, get into this top 10 here. I'm, I'm happy for them as well. Uh, good, good job by Jimmer there. But in the meantime, looks like they're going to be deploying some smoke there, using their cars late game as well. While Secret takes some damage, but it's not enough. And look at them. They've made their way inside, flipped the car as well, but at least they're safe. They do have to watch out for Jimmer there. I don't think they know that someone's in that hut next to them. No, Jimmer's going to easily quiet. peek out of that angle. Okay, they're uh -oh. going to nade it just in uh -oh. case it looks like. Let's see if that one's going to be working out. No, it's on the outside, actually. Another one follows suit. Actually, two nades go in. That's it for Jimmer. He's going to have to come out here. Try to stay alive. But Profi's got his name. And that's him going down. Very nice clear by Ghost there. Now they have this edge to work with. Just barely inside on the ridge. Turtle pushing up a little close to potentially contest this compound against Secret. And Secret are falling back and just taking the north side of it. They don't want to have to spread themselves too thin because there's only three of them. They're just going to chill in this single building by themselves. There's still 15 alive, and so they need to make sure that they control the angles that they watch. Yes, indeed they do. TSM now still making friends with FaZe, but it's not going to be for too long here. Now FaZe have to push past that little risk that they have. They're going to have to meet their enemies pretty, pretty soon. In the meantime, Ghost meet friends with Secret as well. 
It's not going to be a long time friendship. In the meantime, Vitality all the way to the west of the circle. Still alive, still doing good. Now, Brophy peeks out. This is a very bold guy, man. This guy, I love his playstyle. He's so bold, so aggressive, yeah. so confident in his moves. And you know what? It usually turns out okay for him. So it's, it's not for nothing that he goes in for these aggressive shots. Now, Turtle and Mikwe as well will be helping him out against NPX, which is in a bit of a bad spot there. And you see the next circle coming in as well. It's going to be pretty much centralized to the previous one. And everybody could get a chance at the pie, but it's not going to be an easy one to get. Whoever wins this southeast edge, either Secret or Ghost, are going to have a nice wall to work with. You can see that just barely inside mm. the circle. The edge, Secret are the ones that are closer to it right now, but Ghost have the man advantage 4v3. And just the way we've seen Ghost play so far, not just this game, but this entire oh, this oh. couple of games so far. Oh, they've spotted. EMT spots Vitality. They were safe until now. They were <laughs> keeping quiet as a mouse. Vitality haven't said anything after they downed Grubby. And here goes FaZe, because there was no reply from these compounds. They're not checking their angles, so Smack might come through with some frags here. It looks like FaZe are absolutely oblivious of the fact that Smack's in this compound. They can't see him. Sure, it's not this, but they can't see any of the two. <gasps> now he's been spotted. I think GMT saw him as well. Yep, there goes Mixie holding on to the angle there. Smack fires off some shots. Mixie and Hack said he's just waiting on to their chance to prowl in. Smack is going to have to reposition. Blue's about to close in on them. He's going to force FaZe in onto the position. They already have a nice surround of this building. No, they're going in. Mixie's going in. He's checking all his angles before he does that, though. Doesn't need prepare for them. Oh. That nade doesn't necessarily pan out the best of ways. He will tell his teammate to get out as well. <laughs> they will be safe for now. They take their UAZ even further down to use it as cover. And as they do just that, it looks like TSM might be given into the bait. In the meantime, it's going to be Smack going down. Just fist that remains. Can they see him? Can they not? It looks like Hack said he's going to have to give up on that angle. The circle is strangling on, though. Just slowly crawling around. Actually made his way outside. outside and closing on the side. Trying to loot up a little bit before he has to tank the blue while also trying to upset this fight against FaZe. What will work in his favor is FaZe watching other angles, but oh. Mixie is already on him. Mixie knows what's going on, gets the kill, and then runs in to regroup with the rest of his teammates, taking control of this northern edge. And at the picture in picture, we also saw Ghost Gaming absolutely body Team Secret. Now Vitality will be using the smokes to try and push into the ridge just to their east. While FaZe is going to be Ghost Gaming and Vitality. The only three teams left alive in this battle here. It looks like it's going to be a battle of the Titans. Three very top teams. Ooh. Oh, but Araxi goes down a bit early, and that's just going to be Shadow in this battle. That makes things so much harder for Vitality. What they have to hope for is that Ghost will take a fight with FaZe. Yeah, but look at the, the, the enough hills oh! in this area. <laughs> look at the to circle. Control, but oh yeah, that circle directed on Ghost. Using these walls to their advantage is going to be critical for them. It's going to be quite good. FaZe, I think they know that Vitality are there. In fact, if Gemti peeks over, you could spot Shadow potentially depending on the specific angle. So this could, they could easily get themselves a top two before they take this fight against Ghost. Ghost, they just need to wait it out. They know they have the circle in their favor. They have these walls. They have this defense. They just need to wait for everyone else to be able to push into them. Absolutely. Now Hat City scouting in. Quick shot comes in. It does look like he might have connected out against. Was it Balak that he might have connected in against? This guy is an absolute monster. Let's see if the laser machine can find more than one. Or perhaps a down. That would be absolutely instrumental. If they get a down, oh! and they do just that, it's going to be Yemti that does it. This might mean that they can push forward. And this might be their chance to do just that. But Yemti, in the meantime, takes Balak. So there you go. That leaves Mikoy Profi and Turtle staying alive there. While Vitality have to push in late. It's just going to be Shadow. He won't get the res onto his fallen enemy. Sorry, fallen teammate. And this might be the chance for FaZe to finish it all off. Let's see if they can do it. Oh, Balak gets rezzed. Does get that is huge. Yep, and he can heal up. He has he had the smoke for cover for just that reason. And Profi with a nice spray down Ooh. in the empty. Oh, here Four comes that push from face. Mixie's gonna be coming in with that AK reigning supreme Balak on the other side of the wall, as well as Miko. And Miko's got a sliver of life, and that's just it for Balak. It's just the last one staying in for Ghost Gaming. And Shadow might have just made it through for the second spot as Turtle gets caught off guard. Shots coming in on him as well as Mixie really raining. Thunder on these guys here. Balak. Can't he do anything? It looks like his teammate goes in closer to protect him, to take some damage for him. As Balak will attempt a 1v2 basically at this moment in time. They don't know where he is though. They have no idea where Balak is. He, suspe he suspects they're in the corner, but can't quite find the angle through that broken rock. Mm. Trying to jump over to find some information as well. 
Makes he's not overcommitting to the other side of the wall there. He knows that he might could be hiding in some other spot. Yeah. While well, Buzzface will try to jump in. There is a res happening for Pro V. That is absolutely huge. This means that Balak can come out from the other side while Mixie is actually getting the first aid kit, but Balak's also busy getting a res on. Profi goes in aggressive as no! he normally does and gets one shot in. Oh! And then a second one as well. The third one doesn't follow suit as he has to follow with a car 98. Mixie takes him down, but there's a chance for Ghost Gaming to come out no! on top though. Mixie comes in with a frag. It's just Mikoy now left in this battle here while Sa Shadow waits and lurks to see who's gonna be the champion. And it is FaZe that pull it through somehow. Now it will be a 1v1 with Shadow 1K making his way closer to Mixie. Shadow came in super late, had to tank up with the blue, waiting for these two teams to fight it out, and now he is in a crucial 1v1. A res is coming through, no and he's going to be peeking around the corner, no he's going to get a drop! This is Vitaly taking the third win! Oh my god, what an insane performance out of Shadow to be so patient, to be lurking basically into the shadows, and waited out for these two giants to duke it out, and duked it out, they did. It was a beautiful game, full of surprises here, Cabby. <laughs> Quite beautiful that we started with this. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Those you a cigarette th bud? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Those circle swings throughout the game really put a lot of teams in really tricky spots that oh, have yeah. to crush together so early on and really kind of fight for that control and had to give up a lot of it as well. Absolutely. But Look it was FaZe and Vitality both with those wide... Ghost had to fight through a lot to get into that circle, but FaZe and Vitality with very nice rotations to put themselves in that end game situation. Profi just got 10 kills. One <laughs> man got 10 <laughs> kills on that team. Oh my God. There is a reason sickening. why people call him one of the best, if not the best, American PUBG players. Yeah, so they basically, with 13, well, let's say with 10 kills, get 200 points. Yep. So they're not going to be too mad on that as well as FaZe getting themselves decent enough kills. Uh, I think they got nine. Uh, Vitality, Ten. only three kills, but yeah. they were instrumental in getting this chicken dinner. As you can see, they're self with Shadow. Uh, hashtag Wishmuff. I think that's what you say when you see Shadow and, and uh, Self. It's like a, it's a, it's a Frenchy thing. And uh, there they come. They're going to get ready to uh, come here on the stage. Ready, Alan, sorry. There you go, guys. Welcome straight back into it. And, uh, well, Poro, <laughs> it's all, she's yeah, all yours now. All right. Small little hand thing. Let's go. Hi, guys. Oh. Hi. In insane game, huh? God, what yeah. an ending. What, what an ending. What an absolutely go nutty Ghost, ending. Ghost playing big games here, knocking them. I think they knocked them six times. Yeah. They knocked FaZe six times. So many reses back and forth. Profi knocking two of FaZe guys and he and, and Mexi couldn't get down, but Mexi yeah. killed all of Ghost himself. Yeah. All yeah. that yeah. was Mikoy Mikoy did no yeah. extent. I think that's the right thing to do. He they killed him several knocks. times. Yeah, they killed several the rest. times. Yeah. yeah. But I still think that uh, FaZe is gonna get uh, the first place here all from points wise because they have ten kills. Yeah. And uh, Vitality yeah. only has uh, three. three. Three, yeah. yeah. So 560 for Vitality, while for FaZe we're going to get 350 for second place. I think 365, it's going to be extremely close actually. Really, really close. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, our standings yeah, it will be, but yeah, man. <laughs> I think our standings are updated, what so that's going to put FaZe surprise. back in first, Vitality in second, Kingwood in third, and Ghost Gaming now moving up to fourth after that insane performance out of Profi. Uh, first next place team. kills. Yeah, Jeez. and look and at the first place gaming. kills. And not even not by a little bit either. No, I mean, that's, that's a six. And look at the match seven scoreboard here to our right. We can really quickly see Ghost Gaming five right seventy, Face five sixty five, and Vitality five sixty. It's five points that that uh, have these points ahead. It's insane. Between Ghost and Face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. One thing worth pointing out is that Ghost was in a position when they had to go through secret to yeah. even get mm. into that position. So yeah. wipe, they wipe them. They, they flushed them completely. Just absolutely. Like a flush. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? All right. It looks like we have a couple of guys here from Vitality to come talk. Wesh Muff. Oh, here we go. I remember you. Oh. Wesh Hey, how's it going? Hey. Again. <laughs> Again. Again. Shift for <laughs> Welcome. Well played. Yes. Thanks. Well, oh, I didn't played. do anything, but no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's how to do downplay yourself. Get out of right here. Get Shadow. We want Shadow. <laughs> we know. We want Shadow. Shadow. <laughs> He's coming next one. He's okay, coming next one. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Well, what do you what are you thinking the whole time? You you see that Phase and Ghost you are fighting. You you kind of have I'm assuming have an idea that those are two full squads. Yeah, and we you're were just trying to we were counting the the knocks, mm. and we were like, okay, there's two left or one left on each side, and just go, just go and try to kill, and try to win the game, and. Mm. Yeah, it happens one out of 100 times, but sometimes <laughs> it works. So it happened yeah. this time. Yeah, it was really nice. Yeah, absolutely. You were, you we were uh, lurking around. Sorry, go ahead. We had a, a bad game. Like, we lost uh, Monkey early and myself. And to Grubby, right? Yeah, I died yeah. to Grubby and Monkey, I don't know who, but it was really hard. 
And we got lucky with the circle as well. But Monkey was secret, I think. It might have been. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it does. And it was really beautiful to see the way you rotate into the forest line there. Yeah. Uh, you didn't get held by the circle at all because you had a grubby to deal with later on as well. But after that, there was a bit of a quiet period where you were actually, you don't know this, but FaZe had you in their sights. They knew where you were all the yeah, time. They uh, were yeah. looking at you with the current ideas and just not taking shots. Yeah, and we were uh, like, try to survive as much as possible. Just hide. We are only two alive. We can't take a fight pretty much. So yeah, that's it. Just snake into the, the circle as much as we can. And oh, it's a perfect way well as well because uh, Turtle actually came out to the field trying to get the flank on FaZe while they were fighting because they, can, they couldn't see over the, over the wall, all of them. So Turtle tried to get out, and he's super close to Shadow, yeah. actually. But Shadow played the correct game. He waited, he didn't did take an any shots. Game, yeah. Amazing play by, uh, by Shadow there. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Also, we talked a about topography for of the terrain. For exactly. Vitality, you had this small dip that allowed yeah, you yeah. to snake in into late, uh, late blue, right? And otherwise, it would have been really a shooting gallery for for Yeah, we, we, we got lucky with the circle and the, um, the ridge the and everything. Mm -hmm. That was perfect mm -hmm. for us, pretty much. So... Did yeah. you, did Rossi ask for your res? Did he ask uh, you to res him? Yeah, <laughs> but he was joking. Like, <laughs> maybe uh, you can res me, but <laughs> but don't. <laughs> it's phase and ghost, so don't try. It. <laughs> yeah, don't try. It. Funny. Yeah, very good. Really good performance yeah. out of Vitality there. To Thanks. come in with the clutch. Not many kills. Like three, three kills. kills. Three kills. Yeah. Yeah. Three kills. Yeah, they did a lot of kills. That yeah. shows you how so impactful some of the kills are. Yeah. 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 And yeah. This is what we want to see, right? We want to see all these teams getting a lot of kills, but. Face still consistent, getting 10 kills and Absolutely. and a second place, but uh, it's gonna shoot them uh, way to the top right there. Yeah, you only you only uh, 110 points behind, so yeah. it's, it's, it's still uh, it's still it's a battle. Uh, it's still, still going early yeah, on. Exactly. Uh, is there anything from your mentality that changed from the first day to today? Is there any kind of adjustments that you made? No, we just play the same. Just play your game. Yeah. Play the same. Try to avoid bad games. We had the bad games last game. Mm -hmm. Got 11, uh, but yeah, and this one was not really good at the start. Mm -hmm. But we got a bit more lucky with the circle, so it's fine. Yeah. Just try to get better, better positioning, better placement to get more points. And Just to get it a bit better. It's that consistency. Yeah. That yeah. consistency that we've been talking about all day long. Is yeah. It's important to get that late game position so that you can put yourself in a place where you can try to get up these kill counts up there. Uh, as as much as you can, I would say. I right? think it actually I was actually worried about the fact that we have twenty kill, uh, twenty points per kill here because it could have actually snowballed one team out of control. But we see that every single team now has the mentality to go for those kills, so it actually spreads out evenly. Yeah. And now we have five teams that are really close to each other mm -hmm. and can yeah. battle every single game because we have seen teams that can go even for eight hundred points in one game. So even someone who is like currently top eight. If they have a fantastic game, suddenly mm. they're being posted to top three, you know, and that's I think that's actually beneficial to the entire uh, tournament. Yeah, there's more um, like uh, most. It's not it's a small to, spread, to watch, right? I guess. Like people going for kills, then mm -hmm. hiding. It's better, I think, for the tournament. There's also a comeback mechanism, basically, yeah. for teams to mm -hmm. still be in a fight. Yeah. So we avoid situations when there are teams that have nothing to fight for. Right? Yeah, absolutely. There's like always uh, something to fight for. King Win last game got. 16, 16, 16 yeah, that yeah. was a lot, and <laughs> top one plus 16, yeah. 16 yeah, kills. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of kills. So yeah. that, that, that's a lot. That's quite a lot. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you so much for thank joining you. us here thank again. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll yeah. see you again. We have to esports, e -sports. Uh, but yeah. hey, uh, <laughs> you, hopefully, we'll see you up here again uh, for oh, a third are we, time. Are we going to see you fourth time? Fourth time. Are we going to see you again? That's right. Shadow is coming. Shadow. 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 Shadow out of the box. And we need monkey as well. So we need to. So we need two. You need two more wins. We need monkey and shadow. He's not allowed to talk. Yeah. Monkey doesn't have the microphone. He's shooting. He should. He should talk on the desk, though. So if you get a win, send him up here. We'll talk to him. Okay, okay, sure. We'll get no, a win. I'll try. <laughs> well, thank <laughs> you once again. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Okay, so let's take a look real quick at how this game yeah. kind of shaped up and played out. Uh, we could see very early on a circle that we haven't really seen before. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, as the first two games this morning, we saw very far north. And this is kind of a circle that favored more vitality. Oh. Never mind, yeah. we're going to go show and replay. Yeah, you know what, let's have a look at these replays. See, they're kind of important. Here's Vitality early on to the game, trying to make uh, some sort of dominance assessment towards Team Secret, right? So he told them, look around the other side, you better not come anywhere close. And they got the frags. This, though, Sun Sister is going to be mad after this. Oh, yeah. There was no need for that push on that side. He could have easily scouted that one, but they still decided to push that one. Who was it? OMG, I think? No, it wasn't. Uh, MVP, uh, yeah. MVP. So, MVP, so yeah. MVP pushed him. And Sun Sister was actually eight uh, here uh, before this game, and yeah, it's going to yeah. be really rough for them. Um, well look where they are now. They're 10th. There They're you go. Tenth, yeah. Two yeah. spots lost yeah. because of uh, 
Very bold push. It was but such look a close at TSM. fight, though. They're actually on six now. Yeah, yeah. TSM, uh, TSM staying in there oh, for the consistent uh, top placement. Yeah. TSM is waking up, but they still need to get those kill counts up. And if they kind of continue to have games like they had last game, they should be good. Uh, look at Kingwin got caught up in the crazy Yasnaya escape. Uh, fortunately, they were able to get one member. Uh, it was the last one alive out of the Yasnaya group. Oh, oh was it Jimmer. Get, Kobe. Uh, Jor Gun down, <laughs> Oh, what are Body. you going to do, buddy? Yeah, nothing. And, you know, we, we talk about Ghost uh, with that really confident push uh, to into that southern part of that section right there. When they oh, knew Secret, look him. at this. Oh, oh, oh no. He did oh, get the first so hit, but look at that. As soon as he comes out, Balak's ready to take him from the Inferno and into the well, frying pan, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and this is kind of the, the, the play that I've really, really been wanting oh. to see from Ghost. That was, a nice nice that was a really nice yeah. nade as well, yeah. FaZe knew all along where Vitality were playing from, but they were more worried with Ghost. They knew that uh, Vitality's not oh, going to push. Oh, yeah. They knew they were down one or two members, so... Let's see the tale of Mixie right here. <sighs> Mixie, man. This guy's an absolute yeah. legend. But you know what? Profi's not any lower Oof. himself. He got two frags, didn't he? Oh, he yes. got four. Mixie wiped all of Ghost. So no, he, Profi. Oh, Profi got two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he yeah. got two there. He got ten Return. total oh. kills. It's gotta be a, that's gotta be a new record for this tournament, yeah. I think so. Uh, yeah. So personal ten, ten yeah. personal kills for yeah. Uh, yeah. for Profi right and there. And then Shadow <laughs> with just the just the <laughs> just perfect the peak. And and that was, that perfect, was his perfect, only kill. That was Shadow's only kill. That was Shadow's only kill. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's an important yeah. Yeah. When you yeah. need you only what, you only need one bullet to yeah. win this game. Yeah. You're not wrong. Unless you're someone wrong. has level three helmets, so then you need an arm. Minimum. Minimum arm. Well, how often do you see level three helmets here in the in the final circle at this at this competitive level? Have them pull them off. I, I, the, one of the reasons we saw uh, Profi able to kind of get that back from FaZe a little bit was because of the peak was, was made with no helmet, yeah. by the way. But then at the very FaZe, end, so. it was no helmet versus... Uh, he had, he was one with no helmet versus mm. the level two. Right. So, like, that's one of the things that's so impactful that it's, it's really difficult to control and it's not much you can do as a team, but it's maintaining that equipment because if you take too many fights your equipment's going to be weak if it even still exists at all yeah it's true. but at the same time you have to take the fight yeah yeah, yeah. it's, it's, it's a service, balance so the balance yeah. i think it's what's made it, i think so what made it difficult for phase to um push across there is that they weren't able to sort of focus their firepower quite well enough when they're coming across the road is that uh, you know, Profi's got that angle from the right, uh, and he's holding up, picking up one at a time. But FaZe, you know, they've still got someone worried about Vitality to the side, and then because they're not making a three-man rush to the right, uh, to the, you know, the east side there, yeah. haven't got anyone covering them, Profi can go one, two, yeah. and then they're not just capitalizing on their numbers there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we put it in double speed? Yeah, yeah. It well, is. It's, it's also currently it is, on it. It is. Yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah. All right. Or it's we're one like the way they're flipping good. around, they're all over well, the Well, it's also the fact that Ghost had that wall to play around. If, mm. if it wasn't for Mixie's, like, hero rush no, to get that, that initial, like, multi-frag to drop all yeah. Ghost, I think Ghost would have taken this game. Hmm. Granted, Profi almost brought it back after that. It was, a, it was like, 80% clutch to yeah. take it back from that 100% clutch. Mm. But... Well, I think it's also ahead. worth mentioning that, you know, this is this in I think it was Boogie that brought it up at the at the very beginning. Phase with a, a drop that they haven't had since you know back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Novo. Uh, in, in, days, man. Instead of starting at Milt of Power like they normally do, yet they're still able to get looted, get the transition that they want, and make it all the way to that final final circle fight. Which is fight. not easy because they had Secret and Vitality to cross by, but they somehow made it happen. They decided, yeah, well, exactly. Take exactly. a boat to go to Melta Power. They know that no one else will be at Melta Power mm. because they dropped there, yeah. right? No one else will con uh, will just contest the, the Melta because of everyone thinks there's FaZe, but yeah. FaZe yeah. is in the meantime at Novo and they have safe passage to Melta Power. It. So it's actually a very good strategy from them. They also know that the only team at um, Sosnovka is actually OMG, and yeah. OMG is the slowest team here. Oh, like, they are. they are literally turtles. They're just. It's camping there, <laughs> taking hardware, <laughs> gear, and just gonna go in latest possible moment. You know? Uh, Sorry, what are they? I don't know if we turtle? have any turtle toys. Turtles? Okay. I'll have to go look at it. Sure sure another, another thing we're gonna see soon here <laughs> as well is we're gonna see a, a, a circle where we're gonna have 15 teams yeah. on the 60% south of the circle. Yeah. And, and TSM, because they come so late, they just know, okay, we're going to go to the north side mm -hmm. because it's safe up there and then we're yeah. just going to wait. And they were able to get a safe passage into y into Yasnaya and just working their way down slowly, <laughs> wiping some teams on <laughs> the way. Well, there fly, are flying yeah. OMG members. <laughs> so I, I and I think we're, we're going to get to it here in a, in a minute once we finally get to the right point. But you were bringing up uh, uh, just an excellent point about Grubby uh, in, their, in their rotational patterns uh, here very shortly. Uh, so we'll have to remember to keep an eye out for that. But... Mm -hmm. uh, these these early games have turned out to be 
I mean, I'm about to say, I mean, they haven't been too violent, have they? Terribly? Mm. Early really? on, this game was actually the most surprising it one. It seems like it, it was. Yeah. I mean, we Only this one here. Normally, they, they seem to have, and here's the look curious part, because, oh my god, look at this look rotation. Look at all of this. Look at that rotation. This is why, this is the reason why this is the most violent game, early game, out of all of them, is because mm. of this initial swing and then the mm -hmm. next one up here. Yeah. These, these swings look at Antis have been here. just absolutely This is something that we talked mm, about. Yeah, exactly. They actually pass through the best location to keep everyone at bay. Mm. They just go straight over the bridge the gas station. and go over the gas station instead of focusing on the gas station and, and have like a split to mm. gatekeep all the teams that want to go into Yasnaya later on and just, you know, see the, the situation in the next circuit. They make their way to Yasnaya as well. Yeah, yeah. so, if you remember. so what, what the mentality I like to bring up again is don't go into big cities unless you're sure it's going to end there. And we saw three or four teams going there, and yeah. nobody came out safely except FaZe, which exactly. didn't really they didn't play. Go, they didn't, they didn't, go didn't, go didn't, didn't really they play. They didn't even touch they, they came through They were on the edge here. Yeah. That edge. So they came super late, too. So they, these, like, Kinkin went there. All these teams... All the teams that went Yasnaya, when there was a 30-40% chance of it ending Yasnaya, they all died because yeah. it shifted away. So now, this is important. What Vitality's, Vitality is doing here, they knew that mm. every single team is coming from this angle and taking all of the Smart. east. And now they're going to just scout a little bit and go into the direction of school, Rozog, and just be you know cautious about the singular teams that might be camping there. Later on, they're going to meet Grubby. They're going to lose a member there. And that will going to be a very interesting situation to talk about in a few minutes. But right now, this, this rotation from Vitality was very really important. And map is moving along. <laughs> Well, that's, I mean, I think that's something that, that Vitality does really, really well, is that they, they knew, they had the awareness, they knew that they were coming in late. And you saw earlier when everybody was transitioning, transitioning for these great positions in the middle, anywhere they could find it. But Vitality, knowing that they're coming in late, hanging out on this edge, they do end up losing a member here to SSG yeah. while they're transitioning now. But now they know that they're moving early. Yeah. So they're trying to get on the move before this they next circle pops. Exactly. They want to be on the move there. And what I said about his faces, so face, they were on the move here and they saw it's going to be a hard shift north. So they think, okay, we split the circle in half, and it's going to be all the teams in the south. Yep. And there are 15 yeah, so teams yeah. on the on the 60s and south. So they were in the north, and they're in a position when it shifted north again. They're yeah. just in a position to take a, a somewhat good uh, location to, right. to to the next. This see is something you pointed out. Yeah. So here it is. All this swarm. We, we see E United. We see Kengwen. We see Entis Aids. We see Kengwen. We see so many teams just. Yeah. Going, uh, going to to the Yasnaya area. So Kenquin, Entis Ace, and MVP going to the Yasnaya area where it's not necessary to go there yet. But of course, they want to go there because, okay, it's a hard shift north again. You don't have much else so to go to. So you don't have to. much else to go to. No, Nowhere of course. here is safe with yeah. the Ghost Ace, gaming spot. Entis Ace, they were inside the zone. They were in a position to... They are in a very good spot. They are in a very good spot to because they can pick up people here yeah. coming in from this area. But they decided to... Yeah. Here's to what go you're talking about. To go further middle, right? Yeah, so that shows us basically Kay. what you're trying to say is basically that it doesn't always necessarily pan out to go to the middle no. of the circle. No. It's good to stay where you are if the middle of the circle is not down. reliable, especially if it's a city. Slow. Exactly. Let me, let me zoom in on that. Okay. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> no, uh, so uh, but yeah, it, if it's in the middle of a city, then it's definitely not a good place to go into. Yeah, yeah exactly. And especially when that city is Yasnaya and you have so much This is now the important moment to actually understand like a mindset of a team where Vitality knows that Grubby is shooting behind them. They lose a member. Grubby, in the, in the meantime, split towards west side where one guy is just scouting Sorry. out. He's getting information from his, his other team member that Vitality is moving towards him or to the east side. So now they have the full information on this part of the map because of the scouting from north. If you will see members from Vitality coming down south, they will not. Uh, they will be intimidated by Grubby already taking their position. Otherwise, they know they're gonna take this compound here, and that gives a lot of information for Grubby. Unfortunately, with John two members, that wasn't um, easy task to just kind of solidify on later on because you need to move at some point. But it was a very well made split by Grubby, and also made Vitality really uncomfortable. Yeah, and then Vitality just holding down this area on this wooded yeah. area until and finally until the end of the game. And see it. Those this, were this compound. I mean, some of these teams in the south here, they've got to have. They had had to have seen and just moving. How 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 do we don't have any one here yet? Because there yeah. are three three or four vehicles moving from Entis over here. Well, from these guys, they were all gatekept by Ghost Gaming. So Ghost Gaming was really putting on this cruise to E United to TM yeah. as well. Uh, pretty much everybody was kept at bay by this one team. These were the aggressors yeah. of the mid game. It's here. a really Ten. risky. It's a really risky transition. That's why you saw Ghost Gaming get what, what did he get? Thirteen frags. Yeah. Yeah. That's why Profi got ten frags of his own because they were aggressing 
everybody on the south side. It's yeah. just weird that Antus moves from there in the first place. I think, mm, I yeah. think the issue with that is... Okay, we got that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, right, that the decision about that is that I'm, I can't claim to like know too much about it, but my assumption is that it's just a um, it's a habit from their third-person experience. Could be, yeah. Um, yeah. I think cities oh. are easier to manage than third-person, so that could that we've seen yeah. a couple yeah, of times point. that... Um, East Asian teams in particular have done things that like would have worked in third person but not in first and so I think this was mm -hmm. one of those cases. Well also I think it's that you know they don't want to be if they get caught out and it goes uh, to Yaz they don't want to be the team that's coming in late to Yaz because as hard as it is to get out of there it's also very hard to get into once everyone's packed in these buildings to get into somewhere like Yaz. Yeah. Well that's that's, that's gonna put game three in the books uh, as we get ready for our fourth and final game of the evening. Uh, we had who do we have now? We have Vitality with a win. We yep. have uh, FaZe with a win. And we King have win. Kingwin with a win. Yeah, so yes, EU, I know, I know. Go ahead. Go <laughs> ahead. I'm ready. I'll, well, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> no, I'll take it. The boys, but EU, the boys we don't have to say anything. That's all about defending themselves there. I don't have to. That's true. Yeah, you, you don't have to say anything. We don't have to say anything. So EU coming in strong. But we have one more game for the evening. So before we get into game, we're going to take you to quick.